Hi. Today's topic is my favorite and for obvious reasons, quite controversial. But regardless of the fact how much cryptocurrencies are considered scam, um, crypto communities of both believers and non-believers have a commonly shared this view projects blockchain as a revolutionary decentralized technology that will have a larger impact than the internet. You must be thinking how blockchain um, and cryptocurrencies are related. Well, blockchain is the technology upon which cryptocurrencies operate. Without the existence of this disruptive technology called blockchain, Cryptocurrencies couldn't simply exist, which gives this tech a huge exposure and significance. Without a doubt, we can say that businesses are increasingly using blockchain technology for various applications, um, the most prominent of which to date are digital currencies or cryptocurrencies or crypto assets. Today, I aim to increase the theoretical understanding of my viewers to help them understand the driving forces behind the success and equally the volatility of cryptocurrencies. Taking you an extra mile ahead with blockchain, I will also introduce you to a dimension uh, you probably wouldn't have uh, haven't seen yet. But before I get started, please hit that like button, turn on that little notification bell and subscribe to our channel called Monet Blockchain and AI. Before going any further, there's a disclaimer. I'm not promoting cryptocurrencies. To date, these are highly volatile. Yes, they come with huge returns, um, only if you know what you're doing. So do not get your hands dirty with cryptocurrencies without doing your own due diligence. Please also note that uh, my content is hugely based upon few research studies um, very recently carried out over 345 digital currencies giving us an explorative analysis and identifying some of the key factors that can um, explain their performance. Speaking of performance and instability of cryptocurrencies, it depends on two things, the type of business they do um, and the type of technology they use. By type of business, I mean whether or not Crypto A, as an example, is contributing um, to a network business. What I mean to say is this. A business that's using ERC20 tokens will see price appreciation simply because Ethereum, the money coin, sees price appreciation. By type of technology, I mean whether or not the business or the principal project is built upon existing blockchain or on their own specialized blockchain platform. What I have found is this. Paradoxically, in order to achieve the promised benefits, this decentralized technology, um, companies and projects need to centralize part of it in order um, to maintain the ownership of the important strategic aspects of data and transaction laws. Whilst you're following me so far, it would even be more interesting for you to know that just three years from today, the cryptocurrency market surpassed the barrier of 100 billion US dollar market capitalization. For those of you who may not know what market capitalization is, market capitalization is the market price times the number of existing currency units. So getting back to the cryptocurrencies surpassing 100 billion US dollar market cap in June 2017, it was only by 2018 the value of $211 billion was achieved. That's right, we are talking about a huge jump of $111 billion US dollars. Needless to say, this bulging amount of money um, invested into the crypto market was enough to excite our traditional economic world. Um, clearly, the interest in blockchain as a distributed ledger or a database had emerged because of the promise that this technology offers and, of course, the amount of money it attracts. But here's something you probably may not know. Over a little less than a decade, blockchain has grown from a 
byproduct of Bitcoin's growth to a projected 10 trillion US dollar market. Also, blockchain technology penetration and its innovative applications have um, increased exponentially, allowing uh, for the creation of new decentralized and ownerless business models. And in some instances, eliminating the need for trusted intermediaries. Uh, more important than that, blockchain could significantly reduce the transaction costs and, if widely adopted, reshape the economy. Please bear in mind that digital currencies or cryptocurrencies depend on blockchain technology to establish a distributed system of certification and integrity framework whenever um, payment transactions occur. This distributed structure contrasts strikingly with the case of fiat currency or the traditional currency that we know, where the central um, trusted party, namely the central banks, guarantees the validity of a national currency. The phenomena of um, digital currencies reflects new market structured principles that combine some of the characteristics um, of financial assets with the opportunities provided by the new um, digital technologies such as blockchain. Again, giving you a quick reminder of what blockchain technology is. It's a disruptive technology to begin with when I say disruptive, I mean disruption in true sense. Similarly, the way the steam engine disrupted transportation, the blockchain is a digital decentralized, which means not centralized, distributed ledger or database. I know it's mouthful, or in easier words, um, a file that records transactions between two parties efficiently and in a verifiable and most importantly permanent way so that means no one can change it back to the digital currencies bitcoin is the first application of blockchain it is a digital asset designed to serve as a medium of exchange and um, you can also see it as a virtual currency system that doesn't need any central authority unlike the um, fiat currency to exchange the ownership and or verify the transactions in case of cryptocurrencies such as bitcoin again users may send and receive tokens or bitcoin while mutually validating the transactions in a decentralized and transparent manner after bitcoin a variety of cryptocurrencies um, were developed and are being developed as we speak and dedicated platforms um, emerge to exchange uh, fiat money or the cryptocurrencies and vice versa. In addition, hundreds of major corporations worldwide accept Bitcoins for, these, uh, for their services, including um, Amazon, uh, Bloomberg, Microsoft, PayPal, Subway, Target and Tesla. So what puts value to these cryptocurrencies? the value of cryptocurrencies that are not related to a platform such as a business model like bitcoin um, is mainly driven by the direct network effects the more the users adopting the currency the higher the potential of the uh, potential value of the currency be you should understand this very important aspect users often purchase these currencies for trading purposes and the value of the currency ultimately determined to a large extent by how many other users are interested in buying the currency the value of these digital currencies is therefore not um, linked directly to the value of any business but it only depends mostly on the trading related factors as I've learned um, the value of these currencies may change drastically over the time that means it's much, much more volatile following the changes in the interest of the users using the currency. Um, similarly, in the case for tokens, um, in case you're wondering the difference between a token, a token and a coin, a uh, token is forked or born from a coin and the coin um, is the digital coin like Ethereum or Bitcoin. It's the originally created code or currency. So, similarly, in the case of our tokens, the value of the currency is influenced largely 
by the value of the third party blockchain it is linked to. Projects or companies um, involved in cryptocurrencies, therefore, have no means to manipulate this value and are primarily dependent um, on the value dynamics of the collateral value um, exchange markets such as the crypto exchanges. But they do not regulate. Not only is the value of these currencies more volatile, it's, it's also substantially lower over the time than the value uh, that platform-related currencies can accomplish or achieve. For those currencies, the value is influenced, um, to, uh, is influenced to a much greater degree by indirect network effects. This means that the value of the digital currency depends on the number of the users accepting the currency, um, which in turn will largely depend on the interest of the users. Um, to exchange the currency for the goods or services available on the initiated platform network. Users may, in theory, exchange these digital currencies with other currencies, just as in the case of non-platform related digital currencies. However, tokens are usually exchanged um, less than coins, and this is especially the case for um, platform related business currencies. What I can easily infer is this. Users keep more and longer platform-related digital currencies and could indicate the presence of strong um, reinforcement of feedback effects on these currencies. Users are interested in adopting a platform-based currency to a greater extent than exchanging them um, against other currencies. The more useful goods or services available on the site, the less likely consumers are to swap the currency for another. In other words, um, in the case of digital currencies linked to the network business models, the value of the digital currency is instrumental to the value of the um, underlying business. One reason for why we see lower trading volumes for tokens could be due to higher transaction costs um, in the case of tokens, which might limit their tradability and not due to the characteristics of the underlying business. Nevertheless, this reasoning would not explain why we observe a strong difference in trading volume between platform-related and non-platform-related tokens. Also, it falls short in explaining why we find a large decrease in volatility for platform-related currencies. My opinion, again, which is not conclusive due to very infant, mar infant market we are talking about, the reason behind this impact is related to the nature of the market of the platform to which the um, digital currency relates. To the degree that more users embrace the currency and more goods and services become available to them, users will have greater reasons to keep their currency, um, either because the because they want to benefit from its increasing value, as a result of the value of the related network business, or because they want to use the currency as a means of accessing the platform. Hopefully, uh, my content was being insightful for you to better understand how these currencies are actually valued. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. I will see you in my next video and thanks for watching.